How many people know that this is your season? Oh, glory to God. You better claim it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. This is it. I receive it. Oh, glory to God. Oh, Shama. You know, for the past month, I've been going through some tough times. You know what I've been going through for the past few months. But glory to God, every time that the enemy thinks that he hit me down, amen, I get up back strong. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when he can't get me, he tried to get at my children, but he just get me stronger. Oh, glory to God. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So I want to remind somebody today, no matter what you're going through, this is your season. This is your season. Turn to Psalm 30, verse 5. Amen. And the word of God there says, for his anger, 30, verse 5, for his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night. But joy, joy, I says a shout of joy. Oh, glory to God. Comes in the morning. How many people know that? Glory to God. I want you to turn to 1 Samuel 1. And we're going to just um, deal with that topic uh, in from there this morning as we remind ourselves that we are not the only one who are going through. The Bible tells us that, that in Samuel that there was a certain man and his name was Elkanah, son of Jer Jeroham. And he had, Elkanah had two wives. We're going to talk about Hannah a little bit. Oh, I'm talking about your Caesar is coming. Oh, glory to God. And today is Women's Sunday. So, it's, you know, Reverend Tommy, he a good time to talk about this one. He had two wives. One name was Penina. And the other name was Hannah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. And so, Penina, the word of God said, had children, but poor Anna couldn't bear any children. And so year after year, uh, Elkanah would go up into town to worship and to make sacrifices to God. And so whenever he went up there, Elkanah, he would serve his children and his and, and Penina, the sacrifice that came, the sacrificial serving. And when he give portions, yes, he's feeding his family. Men, he's feeding his family. Oh, glory to God. But because he had two wives. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You see? <laughs> It's not good to have two wives, man. <laughs> because you will love one more than the other. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. And so this is what happened to Elkanah. It was okay in those days. So he ended up feeding Anna more. And giving Anna the biggest portion. And so when Peniah saw that Anna was getting the largest portion. Jealousy took her over. It's not good to be jealous. Oh, glory to God. Because sometimes you're being jealous over somebody who is not even getting what you are getting. But the jealousy that you have is killing you. Instead of prospering you. Oh, because every man has their four o'clock. Oh, glory to God. And so she was being jealous over Anna, who, I, I in, in my uh, thought, I'm thinking Anna 
should be the one who would be jealous of, over her. But this Penina, my gosh, she got beyond jealousy. She didn't know that Anna was going through her situation because God had touched Anna and the word of God said he closed her womb. How many people know that sometimes you're going through your situation is because God has chosen you to go through your season. Yeah. All right, you don't believe me. Yeah. Oh, Job. Hallelujah. When Job was there, the enemy was circling the world and come back. He said, have you considered touching my servant Job? Now, Job didn't do a thing, but God was proud of him. God was sure. Come on now. I'm ta am I talking to somebody? God was sure of him to know that he was not serving him because of what he was getting. Hallelujah. But because of who he was, God was righteous. God was good. God was his deliverer. God was his provider. Oh, somebody, are you there today? So sometimes... You might be going through because God has selected you. Turn to your neighbor and say, God selected me. God has selected me. I hope you're catching the word today. Amen. But Penina was jealous. And so she, because every year she would pop one out. Amen. Pop a baby out. Oh, poor Hannah. Every time a baby cry, Anna's heart sank. And so she would go Penina every year. And when they go up to this uh, this place of sacrifice, this place of worship, each year, year after year, glory to God, there comes this year when Penina begin to taunt poor Anna, begin to rub it in. Have you ever been going through some things and people begin to rub it in? Hallelujah. Instead of consoling you, they begin to rub it in. Oh, are you serving a good God? Hallelujah. But when she look, amen, the Bible said this went on year after year. And so poor Anna got irritated. Some people Hallelujah, can irritate uh, the God out of you. Do you know some people can irritate the God out of you if you don't know the God you're serving? Hallelujah, you have to know that you know that you know the mighty God who has saved you, who has took you out of the miry clay, who has planted your feet. Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah, it's time that we realize that the enemy is at work every day. Oh, to rub it in, to taunt us, oh, to bring us down, to irritate you. Oh, my gosh. And sometimes you're going through your battles, and it's going on year one and year two. It's just like a hamster on a wheel. And every year you're praying and you're saying, God, this is the year. We are almost at the end of the year. And there are some things that we ask God for. And we said in 2022, we will be getting it. Oh my gosh. But we see 2021, 2022, and it's still not here. Oh, the enemy wants us to give up. Come on now, somebody. The enemy wants us to have doubt. He wants us to have fear. He wants us to lose our hope in Christ Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Well, let me tell you, 
Hallelujah, your season is coming, somebody. Oh, your season is coming. Oh, glory to God. So Anna went up to the house of the Lord. And when she saw she was provoked, she went and she wept. She wept. Every time that Penina would say, girl, look, you are barren. I'm fruitful. Look at my children. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you, you can't do what I do. Oh, and I know that you are hiding it, but I think my husband loved me more than you do. Amen. But she had a good husband. Hannah had a good husband. When she was men, be good. Hallelujah. Be good husbands. Sometimes your wives are so, you know, weak and dependent on you. Sometimes they cry. They need you to just hug them. Hallelujah. They need you to console them. They need you. Today's Women's Sunday. They need you to comfort them. To tell them how much you love them. To tell them, to tell you, even when you don't look your best, that honey, you are beautiful. And don't you know, girl, you're the only one in town for me. Come, come on, oh somebody. We need it. Come on, ladies, turn to your neighbor and say, we need it. We need it. Oh, my God. So she had a good husband, although she didn't have any child. Elkanah consoled her and said, girl, why are you crying? Why you don't just eat? Hallelujah and have fun. Why are you downhearted? Am I not more than 10 sons? Come on now. Am I not more than 10 sons to you? That means nobody can take your place. How many people know that when you're special, glory to God, it doesn't matter who comes along, nobody can take your place. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Are you hearing me today? One son would be great, but he said, Am I not better than ten sons? Oh, glory to God! And the word of God says, When Anna heard that, amen, her, her heart, yes. hallelujah, was bolstered, her mood began to uplift. Come on, ladies, it's not true when your husband says those things to you, you feel good. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When Bishop said, I'm walking this morning, Bishop said, Girl, you look nice. And, and if I was walking limp before. <laughs>
church begin to pour out. Many of you are going through some things today. Some trials. People are trying to crush you. To crush your spirit. People are trying to discourage you. But don't get discouraged. I come to tell somebody today, whatever you are going through, your season is coming. Your season is coming. Oh, hallelujah. So the word said she went and she wept bitterly. She wept bitterly. And she made a vow. You see, what Penina was doing, it drove results for Anna. Because sometimes if people don't mock you, if people don't insult you, for you to know. Now, I give no credence to bullying because I think Penina was bullying this poor Anna. If people don't say things that make you feel out of place, some of you won't go before God and cry out. If you're not going through the fire, some of you won't go before God and cry out. But it drive her to her results for the season. It made her, pulled herself together and say, God, my problem is my husband. But God, my problem is that enemy over there who is taunting me. So I am coming to you to resolve this problem. I've gone through many years of weeping. I've gone through many years of crying. I've gone through many years of hard pain and labor. It's now, Lord, that you give me birth. And the Bible says she cried bitterly. She said, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me. Do not forget me. How many people know that sometimes you just need to remind God? Remind him of the heart that you have. He knows it, but remind him. Remind him that you're faithful. Remind him, oh glory to God. Forget not your servant, but give her a son. Then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life and no razor will be ever used on his head. Sometimes the enemy just want to take you into a pity party. Make you have a pity party for yourselves. Amen. But I hear a song as I wrote this uh, message and it says, I can see the light of a brand new morning. Oh, I can see the light of a brand new day. I can see the light yes. of a silver lining. Yes. And everything is going to be all right. Yes. Tell your neighbor everything is going to be all right. Yes. Everything is going to be all right. Yes. Hallelujah. My change is coming. Yes. My season is coming. Yes. Oh, glory to God. My victory yes. oh, oh, yes. is coming. Yes. My breakthrough yes. is coming. It doesn't matter how long I'm going through, but my healing yes. is coming. Oh, it might take me a month, might take me two months, but I'm holding on. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. But there's something down inside of me that's telling me to go on. It's not the end. Oh, glory to God. But it's just the beginning. Hallelujah. A victory. Joy is crying out. Joy is crying.
crying out. Oh my gosh. Anna went to the only place in you. She went to the altar. And she prayed. The Bible said she poured out. Oh my gosh. And Eli the priest. He sat in his chair and he watched her. He watched her. And all he could see was her lips moving. Do you know sometimes, oh my gosh, the word can't even come out loud. Oh my gosh, but your lips, hallelujah, will be moving. Oh, your heart is saying everything to God. My God, my God, my God. Oh my God. Sometimes you can't even find the words, Reverend Jones. Oh, but God knows the very heart, the desires that you need. And when you go before him, he just allows pluck it out. Even if you're moving your lips, even if you're crying your tears. So Anna was there and the priest was looking at her. And he couldn't hear anything she was saying. And he looked at her. And he, she stayed there for a mighty long time. Oh my gosh, Pastor John. Oh yes, when you need something from God. Oh my gosh. Oh, you just go down. Pour out your soul. Oh my God. Pour out. Oh, David said, Oh my soul. Why are thou disquieted within me? Oh, glory to God. Hope thou in God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Sometimes you can really feel that crying. That tears running down. Oh, and that was happening to Hannah. She was pouring out her soul to God. Hallelujah. And the priest, the man of God of the hour sat and watched and said, My gosh, listen to me, girl. Listen, you seem like you're drunk, like you were drinking something. How long you gonna stay drunk? Put away your wine. He thought she was drunk for a bit. Oh my gosh. Anna said, not so my Lord. If you ever know what I'm going through, sometimes you're going through some deep things that is between you and God. Hallelujah. And he doesn't disclose it to somebody else. And she said, don't, you know, this is what I'm going through. I've not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul yes. to the Lord. Yes. Don't think that I'm a wicked woman. I'm not a wicked woman. I've been praying here out of my anguish and my pain. Amen. How many people can identify Amen. that at some time you pray out of your anguish and out of your pain. Somebody just lift your hand and shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you for saving me. Oh, thank you for blessing me. Thank you for hearing me. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. And Eli answered, go in peace. And may the God of Israel grant you what you ask of him. Oh, hallelujah. Do you know the man and woman of God, when they pronounce a blessing upon you, oh, glory to God, it will come true. Oh, hallelujah. Open up your heart to receive. Hallelujah, because they are the servant of God. Oh, glory to God. Eli said, I grant you. Hallelujah. The God of Israel will grant you whatever you ask of him. 
Hallelujah. I tell you, weeping may endure for the night. Somebody. Oh my God. But joy. 